So we're going to record. Okay, we're recording. Um, we're going to talk about adding the right people today. We're going to talk about um, cold market talk. We're going to talk about recruiting um, different little ways that I've recruited people um, and how the heck you can get more than SC10. Um, so let me take you through a little bit of why this is super important um, and why this is important for your coaches because number one, the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. If you're only getting SC6, and you're wondering why your coaches are only getting SC2 or nothing, that's why, is they need to see you doing more, okay? So if you're only getting SC10, uh, you have a chance that more of your coaches are, are feeling like, I could do five, I could do that, right? Um, remember, when you have coaches that are joining this business, they are, um, their, their confidence might be a little like shaky in the beginning. And that's why you want to get in there with them. You want to talk to their people. You want to create a webinar or a sneak peek and run that thing so you can help them succeed. And I'm going to take you through how I help my coaches succeed in the beginning um, with my business. That was super easy. It's kind of, it's kind of Thursday's topic. Um, but it's kind of with this topic too. So it's kind of going to go together. Um, but yeah, we'll just get going on this. I'll probably get real deep into the cold market stuff today and how to add people and connect with people. Um, but, uh, we'll talk about how I duplicated in a very, very simple process. All right. All right. So again, 10 xing your numbers until you have like a great foundation going on in your business at the end of the day we are looking for the right people we're looking for the people to join our tribe our sisterhood if you will however you are sorting if you will you are sorting through people who are going to go the distance with you a lifer as shalene johnson would say is somebody who grows with you whereas an avatar your ideal or dream person coach they may join but they may not go the distance with you they may not grow with you and if you didn't already know now you do this business is a growth journey the girl I think we have a couple guys in here, the girl or the man you started as a coach, when you started as a coach, that person is not going to be the same person when you hit six figure income, 10 star diamond, 15 star diamond, you're going to be a different person because you're going to grow because that's just part of being an entrepreneur. It's part of being a business owner. It's part of beach body. And that is what is so freaking cool as opposed to the lipstick that we talked about yesterday or the here's a legging like there's no growth there um and like this is super different very different and it's unique and it's special and so um understand that success club is the number of lives you're changing and helping it's basically a measurement saying you've changed this many lives um, and as you increase that, you have the opportunity to change more lives. Number one, number two, that helps you sort through coaches as you grow your team. Because if you haven't already experienced it, you're going to get coaches that are just not going to do anything. You're going to get coaches who just want to do this for a hobby. You're going to get coaches who just want to do this for a discount. You're going to get coaches who really do want to build this or you're going to get coaches who quit and go off to beach body island right or go mia on you and you're like what the heck man i thought you wanted to do all these things so that's why um i've always been a higher success club earner i guess you could say is i'm i'm looking through the different people i'm talking to and i i actually have experience with um, talking to the wrong people. 
So failing my way forward last year, I would talk to anyone and everyone. And um, I mean, look, I was cleaning up my Facebook friends list and I was looking at some of the friends and I was like, how, just how did I ever connect? Like how? So be okay with, you don't have to sign. If somebody is very negative on Facebook or they're, they're just always complaining and you're like, eh, I don't know if this is for you. That's a lot of work. Um, you can vary, you can be semi picky when it comes to, um, your team and who you want on there. And I do know that, um, another thing is lifers for Beachbody are people who absolutely love Shakeology, the programs, the community, like those are, those are lifers as well. They are, they have gotten incredible experience and they're just in love with everything about Beachbody. Okay. So we're going to move on. All right. So cold market. So I actually started my business cold market. I didn't even think to talk to family. I sent them a little email like, Hey, I'm a coach. Like just if you need anything, let me know. That means I can give you beach body stuff. That was it. That's all I did. And I got to work on Facebook. Um, and it's changed ever since those years. So that's okay. Cause there's new ways to do it. So back in the day, um, it was super simple. We would just go to like, I'll just show you really quick. Okay, so back in the day, we would be able to just go to the Insanity page, and you could click on the number of likes, um, and then you could message those guys and say, you know, how's your journey going? Did you just start? What day are you on? And it was a little easier. Um, I, I don't do that anymore. However, I mean, there are comments and there are likes that you could message but you're, you're going to be sorting through a lot of coaches and a lot of people who maybe already have coaches. Um, so things, you know, that I used to do is I would just see like, do you have a coach? Are they helping you? Um, all that good stuff, but Facebook black this thing out right here. So I can no longer do that. And that was my jam. Okay. So that's how it all started. But then came learning about your ideal person, your lifer, someone who's going to grow with you. Okay. So you think about who you are. Um, for me, I'm a twin mom. So I am in a boatload of twin mom groups. Okay. So in the groups, there are rules. All the groups have rules. You can't be like, oh, join my team, yada, 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 posting in here. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. However, I can comment right here on Megan's post, 102.9 fever under the arm in the two-year-old just gave her meds. It was 101, yada, yada, yada. I could say something like try a bath, see if it cools her down. Right, I could suggest some things here and start to connect with Megan. Now, you can take it even a step further, which I encourage you to do, and to literally click on Megan's Facebook and just kind of look at what she posts and get an idea of, is this somebody that I would love to connect with? Is she smiling? Does she like, you know what I mean? Like, she seems to be a good opportunity to connect with a friend that here she's like got some um, school lunch prep that's healthy she loves Disney and I love Disney okay so already I've got two things in common just kind of looking she works at Walmart sometimes I like to look through their photos too because photos say a lot but she looks like she's she's got these twins and she's got these little kids and like she looks awesome for me. I think that I would almost want to connect. Um, cause she seems like, you know, she could, I could really help her. Right. So a couple things I can do here are number one, where did that post go? Find her post. Um, Oh, here it is. And I can say a suggestion. I can like the post 
and I could say they're so cute, right? Um, on their on her photos or and just start to connect with her so she's not like where the heck did you come from? You know what I mean? Okay, number two. I can click on the members. I have 5,000 people here that I can connect with. I'm actually friends with Wendy. Um, I met her on Instagram. Wasn't that, isn't that crazy? Cause we, I used the twin mom hashtag. Um, here's one and I'm like, okay, she looks kind of cool. Let's see what her life is about. She's smiling. She's got little babies. She's very private. So I don't know much. So this may or may not work. And it's a decision you make on, is this somebody I want to potentially connect with? And also, it's a decision you make on knowing they may not be down, be into what you're into. Just FYI. And that's okay. Don't be emotionally attached to it. This girl, her name is Allie. She's smiling. She looks awesome. I would love to connect with her. And I can't see anything. But what I can do is just shoot her a friend request and go from there and be like, I met you in the twin mom group. I have twins too. We have something in common. Where did that other girl? So Megan was another one that I could totally add um, and talk to about um, my twins. Now I should be posting about my twins on my main page. So my last post um, I'm talking about Brock being sick because he's sick and how I get to be home with him and how I got my workout in. So I'm intermixing my fitness, my family, my business all in one post. Okay. So they can connect with the fact that I have twins and I need to change my cover photo. Cause yeah, I put out a word to get that changed and then they got sick. My life got busy. All right. Um, so yeah, so this is what you do. Okay. So you got the idea with, with, uh, with the twin moms. Um, another thing I can do is look at Arizona hiking pages, um, and connect with people who go on hikes and I can create friendships with people in Arizona, um, in this group. So it's the same concept in here. Um, Holy wow. Look at that video. Oh my God. Okay. I can't watch that. <sighs> all right. So they're, they're all talking about hiking in here. We hike, um, not as often as we should, but we should more, but I can go again, looking at posts and connecting with people, or I can go over to the members section, right. And I can add friends. So Monica, she's smiley. She looks happy. She looks kind of like my type of a girl, but I can't see anything on her page. Sometimes when I can't do that, I just don't bother because I don't know if they'll post. Um, that's a beautiful thing about Instagram. If you like Instagram is they are posting because that's all you do to connect on Instagram is you have to put posts up. So they're already doing that activity. So that is a benefit of looking for people on Instagram. Um, I can tell you how I do that or how you can do that as well. Um, but anyways, I'm always looking for, like, I wouldn't add these guys. Like this just doesn't make sense. Why would I add this guy? I, I wouldn't, I would have nothing in common. It would make no sense to add this guy. Right. So, um, also if, let's see, they're all so happy. Sometimes I'll find profiles and I'm just like, no. Um, and I guess perhaps this is, I don't know. Here we go. Like, no, just no, wouldn't happen. Um, I don't think I would add her. You know what I mean? Like you can be really like, I wouldn't add this one either. Cause this is a really blurry picture and it's, it's just no, but like Sarah, Sarah might be awesome. She's a realtor. Okay, so that's that's a cool thing, I guess. Um, she might be someone who would be really fun to connect with because realtors they sell houses, so 
but they work so hard. It's unbelievable to watch a real litter. So Beachbody might be a thing for her. Okay, so you get, uh, does everyone follow what I'm doing? Let's see if I can see this chat. Do you have a, yeah, we're gonna go over numbers. I just wanna make sure y'all like are following this makes sense. Everything's good so far. Let's chat here so I can see. Perfect. Okay. All right. So you get the idea. So you think of, of topics. So I have Disney groups. You see all these Disney groups I can connect with people in. Um, I've got twin groups for days. So like even my twin mamas on our team, there's just like so many, there's a ton. Okay. Here, I'll show you guys. So Charity's the coach on our team. It looks like she's the only one. Um, but some of us are all in the same twin groups. But look at this. There's 4,000 people in here. I think we got plenty of room for all of us to connect with twin moms. You know what I mean? Like, there is no scarcity. There is no, like, there's an abundant, abundance. There's new twin moms every day. There's an abundance out there of people that need us. Um, so here's what you do. You pick your, you pick your groups. There's gardening. Look, there's even garden, gardening in Arizona. I hate gardening. It's not my jam. However, there is a group. If gardening was my jam, I, you guys, I planted all these things and they're dead. It's terrible. It's just terrible. I have fruit trees, but that's, it's just terrible. Okay. So, um, let's see what else. Um, I don't know that I would get into fitness groups. Um, I, a while back I was big on like PCOS groups cause I have that autoimmune. I don't really want to go into those groups either. Um, it's very hormonal in there. So I just don't want to go there. Um, but twin moms are like a big thing. Uh, boy mom, I'm a boy mom. So boy mom type of things. Um, I'm not big in food, but I am in the Instant Pot community. I know a couple of you guys are. The Whole30 Instant Pot community might be a really fun place to hang out. You can see some of my, a lot of my coaches are in there. Um, but again, there's 45,000 people in here. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much opportunity. Okay, you get the point. All right, so here's how this works. So for like 10 minutes, what you want to do is pick your group. All right. So I would, I usually flock to this group. This is where I'm usually hanging out. And you want to go in and you want to add five new people. So look at the faces, look at their photos, um, look at their profiles. Are they somebody that you personally want to get to know? Um, now you can see a lot of these. I'd be like, ah, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like you can be, this is all uh, the first part of inviting. So it, it would be connecting with the new people, cold market, new friends, but you have something in common with them. So you would go real quickly and scroll it down. And like this lady looks like super happy. It looks like we have some friends in common. It looks like she's doing some kind of clothing line thing. Um, I don't know. It looks like she's got some coach friends already. So if I see she has coach friends, there's no reason for me to add her because she probably uses those coach friends. Um, if she wants to connect for Beachbody products. Um, if they have a mutual friend like that, just leave it alone. It's, it's not going to work for you because they're probably already connected to somebody. Um, some of these guys just don't smile and I'm just like, eh, I don't know if I want to add you. <laughs> Cause yeah, I actually was friends with this lady for a while. Oh, I still am. Oh, cool. Okay. So you get the idea. Add five people, um, that you connect to and you can do something as simple as this girl works at plexus i hate that company sorry sorry okay um i wouldn't add her because she works at plexus she's with an mlm already and they are so like no just no don't even bother if they're with another mlm just don't add them um 
but you see the idea like i'm going through i'm seeing she's with plexus i'm like okay no um this girl looks kind of cool let's see what she does she posts selfies <laughs> like you it is you guys it's literally like i don't know if you've ever done recruiting before but recruiters um, look at resumes constantly and they're looking at the different things for people and it, you, you literally have to look at this like I'm a recruiter and I'm looking at their social media recruiters look at social media they look at Facebook's um, and I'm looking to see like is this someone that I would connect with so I'll totally add her I'll send her a friend request done okay so like 10 minutes add five people pick the groups now um, from there once they've added you you go to your main page, you go to your friends list, go to recently added. So here we have, I made friends with this girl. Um, she's in my, I'm drawing a blank. Where did it go? Where's the list? Oh, oh there they are. Okay. Um, Mar Marjorie Miller came through because she wants to join my clean eating group. Uh, so I can click add to a list and then I can click for a list on Facebook and I could say May 2017 new friends. So now she's on my list. Same thing with Angela. Angela's actually local. So that's why I encourage you to get in your local groups because local means you can have dinner with these people. It means you can, um, you know, like Christina and Lisa did a lot of face to face. You can go have coffee with them and explain Beachbody to them as you get to know them. Courtney came from Instagram and she's got a thousand and five friends. I can only imagine where this could go. Um, I'm gonna add her to a list. She's in, I used a clean eating group to attract these people. So we'll talk about free groups, which is kind of um, next, okay? So you get the idea. So then you're gonna add them to the list. Katie is, um, she's a lead that came from Beachbody, um, who just ordered Shakeology. So just to give you an idea, this one is really interested in becoming a coach. Um, so I could do, oops, I could do a list. Um, I mean, clearly I have all these lists. So I could do coach, I know I have a coach list somewhere, coach op there so she came from my coaching ad and ads are a whole nother story jill jill is really interested in um beach body on a man and became friends with her here um and so you can make all these lists however you want and then you know where to go when you want to connect and talk to people okay um okay so <clears throat> another thing i do is i'm this is my most famously popular tool is my fitness group so this is fitness and motivation with Lindsay. right now it's a fresh new group i have an old group let's see if i can find it um and what happened was how it worked was when I would make friends with these people, um, I would say, hey, I have a free health and fitness group. I'd love to invite you to join. Now, a lot of my connection was automatically health and fitness based. In this case, you're going outside of that zone by meeting people that you know. You're not necessarily going straight to Beachbody yet, but you're posting. Your conversations will get you there. Um, and you're able to invite them to a free space where you can build trust. And within this group, um, also you can make a post about your free group. Um, it's one big free accountability group. This is newer, a newer group I started up that um, I stopped giving energy to my group uh, from years ago. So this is a new one that I'm, I'm growing. And I tell them to invite friends to the group. And I just make them aware, like, what I like, who I am. Um, they understand that I'm a coach and that they cannot come in here and try and sell product to people. Um, I am really, really um, particular about if they are in an MLM, I usually don't allow them. My rules are generally 
Um, no coaches, no, if you're working with a coach, don't come in here. Um, and then if they're in like Plexus, I just, I'd rather them watch me from the outside of Facebook than be a part of a group where they could connect with all my people. Um, that's just me though. You do what you want. So I just have this pin post that kind of just gives them a heads up. And then um, right now what's going on in here is we're doing a five day clean eating group. And um, I've been going live and I've been sharing about clean eating. I'm sharing my workouts. Um, I introduced them to Beach Body on Demand and how to sign up for free. So I'm adding all this value to them. Um, and I did make them turn in before and after photos um, to get a little skin in the game. I got that cool idea from Megan Egg Eggleston. She shared that in Carl's mentoring group um, and how she does that. And then I would ask some of these basic questions just because what happens? Now I have the opportunity to have um, awesome conversation starters with these ladies because now I know what their goal is, right? Um, all right, posting photos about myself, asking them to invite people, sharing food, different things like that. I also, um, somewhere in this mix, have shared um, self-care tips because I'm really into that. So if you are particular about a specific um, thing that you're passionate about, add it in there, motivation or whatnot. So this is an easy way when you make these friends for you to move them to a community where you can add value, share your story, share your journey, encourage them. And um, this is where my multiple, multiple of my diamonds came through. They came through a group just like this. Um, I'm trying to see if I still have that group. It was called Fitness for Life or something like that. And it was like, up to 500 people at some point, and every single person ended up buying Shakeology, a program, or becoming a coach. So there's a lot of power in having one group versus a clean eating group over here, and this kind of group over there. I just, I just come in and I do, um, I just change the the cover photo, and if they don't like the group and they leave it, that's okay. They're not your tribe. Don't don't worry. It's not a big deal. There's still many people to connect with. Okay, so that is how we do the connecting, adding, moving them. Um, and then you can, once they've accepted your friend request, you can certainly message them and say, hey, thanks for the ad. I'm so excited to get to know you. How old are your twins? Or whatever the topic is your group is. Um, mine are four. They're boys, um, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully that helps you guys. Do you have any questions so far? Once I've had that initial conversation and getting to know them, then you're going to go to their page. She's a teacher, right? Can you tell she's a teacher? She's got two kids. And I'm going to build some connections with her on her page, right? So I'm gonna look for, what would you do? Just went to Kohl's, bought some clothing, told the cashier I didn't want to buy the second dress because I already spent too much, he rang me up. When I got my car, I actually really keep the second dress in my bag. So she's curious, and, and would she keep it, or would you take it back? You know what I mean? And I can com comment on here and give a little bit of my input. Uh, I think this is Ellen that she's got up right here. And I could come out and make it creative, and my character would come out at the same time, and it wasn't to make a political statement. I love Ellen. So I can say something like, I love Ellen on her post. But look for things that like, oh, look at this cute little photo. Okay, so see how I'm building with her, like a, a relationship. I don't know. So you do that with, um, 
I don't know, like I would do maybe your last five new friends. And that takes you like all of 10 to 30 minutes. Don't get lost in the scroll. Don't get lost in the scroll. Focus, focus. Okay. And then the opportunity to invite is going to present itself because you've built that relationship. You've built influence. You're posting. You better be posting on your wall every day things that they're paying attention to um, and being able to build a connection with them and not just shove each body down their throat. So this all could kind of come together within a week, right? And you don't need it add someone and invite them the same day. That's not like, that's not the game plan. That's not how cold market works. For me, I would always, if we got into a health and fitness talk right away, I would invite them to my free group like that because there's no buy this product and that's not where we're at with that yet. Where we're at is building a relationship with them. Okay. So that's how Facebook works. That's it. It's that simple groups all the way. All right. I, think that if I go into ads, we'll be here all day long. Um, let me see here. So a couple ways to recruit is going to be by a post on your wall. Um, personally invite, whoa, look at those colors. Personally inviting people, um, praising them. So for example, let's go back to Marjorie. She's a great example. Okay. I could see her being a great, I can already see some potential in her. She's posting, she's sharing some great stuff. She's got a good heart. Like I can already start to see potential in her. Um, what I know about her because of our conversation is that she is a former athlete and she had her second baby and she's struggling to get the last 30 pounds off. I know this because I invited her to my free clean eating group and she told me because I had them all fill out a form so I know exactly what the struggle is. And I made them take before photos and measurements so we can see what happens in five days, right? That's a pretty cool idea. I got that from, I got the idea, the form idea Christina does, got that from her. And then, yeah, I'll share the form. And then, the um, idea of the measurements or turning something into me, a before photo, all that good stuff I got from that um, Megan from the Carl's mentoring group. She shared that. Um, and I put the two together and now I know their struggles and I also have measurements so I can help them move to the next level. Now, are they buying anything yet? No, but that's okay. That's the challenging thing with new coaches and stuff is, that you do have to build that trust. You people do business with people they know, like, and trust. So we are going into a, into a, a world of cold market, but what's happening is you're going to understand this is not someone who I'm going to sign up today. This is just a new friend I'm making today. These are new people I'm connecting with. Um, my goal is to get them into my free group. If possible, if not, I'm just going to be their friend on Facebook. That's okay too. And I'm going to continue to post because my new friend is connecting and watching me and I'm going to go on my new friend's page and I'm going to, uh, see what's going on on her page and make friends and connections and, and chat now once. So I've known Marjorie literally since Sunday. Okay. So two days, it's probably not a good time for me to like tackle her yet. However, all signs are pointing towards this girl would rock as the coach. So for me, I already know what I want to say. You're, you would be amazing at this. You would rock at this. I know you want to be home with your kids. Um, and I would drop that invite probably later this week, maybe next week. That's how it's done. So it's, it's very quickly, but it's not so quickly that you add them and invite them like that. And I think people maybe do that or maybe they just won't do anything at all because they're so like nervous about cold market. Okay. So I hope that, um, answers a lot of your questions. Um, let's talk Instagram for a second since we're on social media. Instagram is a free place to play and meet with people. Okay. Um, I'm going to Instagram. If you guys have your phones, pull them up, pull up Instagram. How Instagram works is it's very similar. 
I think it's similar to Facebook in terms of you need people commenting on your threads, on your posts, on your threads. You need people liking and double tapping your stuff. So you need to tell them when you're making posts, double tap if you worked out today, double tap for my mamas who understand mom life, right? Whatever it is you want to be talking about, make sure that on Instagram, uh, that your topics are intermixed with your uh, profile. So people know what they're getting when they come to your page. If you're a foodie and food's your jam and you're going to make really pretty pictures of food, go for it. Instagram is very picture uh, friendly. Um, it, it's like a mag, think of like looking through a magazine and those really, or Pinterest and how like pretty it is, right? That's, that's Instagram. Okay. So there's a couple things that work for Instagram. Number one, searching for people, you go to the search button, the little, um, micros, microscope looking thing. Is that what it's called? Microscope. Microscope. <laughs> All right, and then you click, so here you've got like the explore page, um, or the popular page, whatever this is called. Now, Instagram is going to put people that are your kind of people based on things you're searching on Instagram in this popular page. So, a couple things you can do is like this lady, she looks like she's already an entrepreneur. I wish I could show you this, but basically she was on the popular page. Look at the photo. Really pretty, bright, clear photo, right? Someone I'm like, hmm, what do you do? She is already in business though, because if I click on her link, she's already into health and wellness. You see that? Now, She's not in a beach body, but she's into like the oils and things like that. So she's probably not someone I would want to connect with. But as you look through your popular, like if you guys pull up Instagram right now and look through your popular page, um, oh my gosh, my popular page is like all Kardashians, you guys. It's so funny. <laughs> that makes me laugh. Okay. Um, I, I am clearly tied to a lot of entrepreneurs because that's a lot of my page. Um, it's, it's very clean, clear, awesome photos, um, with a lot of people who maybe are already doing business. Yeah. 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 Okay. So in that case, another thing that gives you the idea, you can look at the popular page. Um, another thing you can do is you can go to a page you love. So Disney World, Nordstrom Rack, Nordstrom in general, um, Disneyland, Disney has a page. Disney has a page, 9.4 million followers. So I click on the followers, then I look for me. Again, just like Facebook, you're looking for people that are smiling, there's a girl right here, um, and you're making sure they're posting on Instagram. Um, doo, 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 and just go through it quickly, and if you're not seeing much, then move along to something else um, that you would be following. Think of the foods you eat. Think of like, just off the top of my head, Square Organics protein bars are bars that I have um, in my, in my house when I need a bar and they're incredible and they're a healthier protein bar and I could go to their page because those people that are following them they're already into health and fitness their page is like really really pretty see how pretty see how pretty Instagram is um, and then I can click on their followers and I can look for like this girl so she's already a health enthusiast See, she's smiling in the photo. Um, it's unclear if she's in a business or not. So I can follow her and then I can write her name down to check back up and see like, and, and you of course build the relationship by opening up their photos, double tapping, commenting, things like that. Does that make sense? I hope that all makes sense. So I just clicked on following her. I know she follows Square Organics. She's clearly into health and fitness because that's all she's posting about. If she doesn't know about Beachbody yet, 
bing, 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 someone I can talk to. Does that make sense? Very cold market, but very organic at the same time. And I just, you need to track who they are. Um, now, if you want, you can send these guys a direct message like, hey, um, I saw your page. I love your page. It's so awesome. And just kind of see if they respond. And then you can come back with, are you, how is your health and fitness journey going? Um, what are you following? Are you using a plan? Do you have specific goals? I have a free health and fitness group on Facebook. Are you on Facebook? I'd love to add you. Simple. Okay. All right. So the other thing is as you grow your following on Instagram, you can always message your new followers. So I can click on that 21 and message those guys. I can click on all the, so I have, let's see, I have 125 likes right now on this, this photo. I can click on all the likes and I can message these guys with a simple, like, I love your page um, type of message. Okay, do we have any questions about Instagram, any of that? So big picture is to look for people that you would love to connect with. Look for people that you would love to have on your team that aren't with another MLM, that are smiling, are positive on their page, maybe already. Um, and I'm telling you this because I added anyone and everyone in the past. And um, yeah, that didn't go over so well. It just didn't be semi picky. I know some people grow uh, through personal development and whatnot, but I'm just saying it was, it was that important that I need to say that, that I literally have gone through and cleaned up out, at least 100 friends that just share things that I'm like, D friend, like, no, why would you share that? You know what I mean? Like, you'll know, you know what I mean? And you want your page, you want your energy, you want it all surrounded by positivity. So again, your opportunity is to pull them from groups on Facebook, um, pull them from Instagram if you choose. Um, if you want to use more platforms, we can talk about more platforms. I don't want to overload you all with more social media, nor do I want to get into Facebook ads. If you're interested in Facebook ads, I can, I do have some videos that I would be happy to share with you, but, um, until you're ready for ads, um, let's not go there. Ads are a way of paying Facebook to find you people. Um, and it's really cool. <laughs> um, like I literally have an inbox full from my ads and my ads get a lot of, I can show you guys a little bit, just a little tiny sneak peek into ads because they're all, that's a whole nother training um, in itself. But I'll give you like a little idea um, of how powerful they are. So you need to have a like page to have ads. Literally your like page, you're pretty much, it's all money. And Instagram can be all money as well. So FYI, as a business owner, you do want to invest. I mean, you just do. For me, it's so worth it. I make, I forget how much I make back on ads, but I make a really decent return. So how ads work is you, there's different ways to set them up, but just to give you an idea, there are, these are all my ads. These are different ads that I have out. This is an ad that I've had out for, uh, since July of 2016. So almost a full year. There's 370 shares, 3,000 likes, um, and 2.5 thousand comments of people interested. And they're, they all want, it's country, it's a country heat ad. Um, and I just said something really simple about dancing and losing weight. And I had, I did say it was not yet released because it wasn't. And oh my gosh, still a year later, this is happening. And I think I've spent $300 for the whole year on this ad. And look at how many people it's brought me. And I think I need to message these guys. Unless I did. I think I might have. But you get the point. Um, here's another fitness ad that I have up. Very simple. Just a photo of me. Um, 433 likes. 12 shares. We've reached 10,000 people. And a lot of comments. Sign this girl up. Cost. 
location, you get the idea. Again, a way for me to connect with more people. This does not mean they're gonna sign up tomorrow. That's not what this means. What it means is I have new people to connect with to have an automatic conversation about Beachbody with, and at worst, add them to my free group where I can add value to their life in the meantime and build a relationship with them. Um, this is a recruiting ad where I'm traveling because I'm being particular. I am spent all this money on college, ended up in a toxic corporate environment. Doesn't seem like a fair trade, does it? So I'm speaking to people who hate their day job. It's just part of who I'm looking for. People who are done with the corporate life, done with the nine to five, and they're ready to build a life of their dreams. And they're willing to work hard for it because corporate people, if you work in corporate, most of those guys are pretty hard workers for somebody else. Um, and then I start to talk about what they need. I talk about me. I talk about Disney. Ding, ding, ding. Why? Because I love Disney currently. Love Disney. Um, I talk about the purpose. I talk about, I don't know that I talk a lot about health and fitness, which I probably should add in there. I think I do a little bit. But um, that's a key key piece that needs to be in there. You talk about travel, travel, and then there's me with my luggage. Yes, kind of cool, huh? Um, and let's see. So that's one of my recruiting posts. Here's another one where I'm in Disney World. This is so funny. Um, I took a photo literally in line and it's me on my phone and it says, I work to support my Disney addiction. And it says, if you had the opportunity to build a business from your phone, would you check it out? Duh, who wouldn't, right? And then I tell a story. Again, I start by telling a story. I say what I'm looking for. Um, and the only reason these ads don't get shut off is because they just don't stop with the comments. 1,000 likes, 84 shares, 286 comments. That's 286 people. Look at all this. I still need to get to them today. Sick child jacks my day up, but it's all good. They'll be there. So anyways, just to give you the idea, that's what ads are like. Um, they're amazing. Oh, you don't want to know how much I spend. <laughs> you guys, I spend a lot. Um, it is less than a week's income. Can I tell you that? <laughs> All right, so I said I would talk about tracking. So let's talk about tracking. Um, everyone uses a different kind of tracking measure. I have used it all. Team Z, Excel, um, I've used um, notebooks, I use the planners, I use all the things. Streak, Streak had me for, like, oh my God, there's just so many, ah, too much. So I saw a video on Asana and how simple it can be. So I'm currently using this. And because I have an assistant helping me, it's perfect because then she can see it all as well. Okay. So with Asana, all I did was I created my own account. And then in the project section right now, you can click create a project. And I kind of ignore all this stuff, but I lay it out as a list. Um, and the project could be... Um, uh, like we have coach prospects, potential challengers, Instagram potential, shift, shop, um, interest, right? And then I create a project. Where'd it go? Oh, my computer is going slow. Okay, there it is. Next, I could do international interest right because right now we can build friendships we can't do anything else but we can build friendships with people from United Kingdom if we choose then when I'm ready and I have a new connection who's interested in the business or whatever uh, the business would be a coach prospect challenger would be here Instagram goes over here shift shop just for the sake of the fact that it's a new launch could go here I could do beach body on demand, but you generally that's a challenger interest. International interest could go here, right? Okay. So newest girl, this is Kimber. She, I sent her the business opportunity last night. All I do is I click add task. 
and then I can put the name in like Jessica Smith or whatever, right? That's a fake. And then I come over here and I assign it to myself. So I'm gonna show you Kimber since um since um Jess isn't a real person. Kimber, I sent Coach Op video over. Now, where I did make a mistake, that's because my kid has been sick and um I've been so busy. Let's see if I can find her real quick. Five thirty a.m. Um, my assistant's gonna be mad because I'm supposed to do. Is there a search button? Anyways, oh, here she is. Perfect. Okay, so I will click on the link for her her message thread right here, right? So then I'm going to go back to Asana, and I'm going to put the link here so we know exactly where to find her. So if I'm on Facebook personal, I'm going to put the link here as well. So then I make her note, sent over Coach Opportunity Video, 5, what was um, Monday, 5.22? 5.22. So yesterday, so then I make a note here where to send the, the follow-up, and then I can set a date. So I'm going to follow up with her on Wednesday. Then what happens is on Wednesday, Asana will email me all the names of the people. I need. So tomorrow, I'm going to get all these names in email saying, you need to follow up with boom, 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 boom. Or I can just log into Asana, and I know exactly who I need to follow up with. I know who got messages, who got videos. Like, I'm not losing my mind. Um, and my assistant has access to this as well and can do it from her computer. And so when I'm having days like today, where I literally have not been in the inbox yet because of a sick child and I've got to take care of me first, or I got to do my workout first, I've got to do my personal development, all that stuff. My assistant is helping me. She's going through all these people right now. Hey, how are you? How was your weekend? She's doing that for me and getting it done. So the follow-up is started. And then we have a follow-up process. We do two follow-ups. Hey, how are you? Did you get a chance to check out the video and the information? Um, and then if they're still not responding, we just keep moving this out, right? Or if they say, I want to sign up on June 16th, so I can move it to there, and then I know when to follow up with her. That simple. And my challengers go in here, and they never go away. And it's free. You don't have to pay for this. So I like uh, it's, it kind of reminds me of Teamsy. It's very similar, um, but it's free. I've been using Teamsy when I tried to set up a sonnet to forever. Did that look simple? I mean, I, it was that simple. I just, I don't know what made it forever, but that was it. That was all it took. So that's it. That's how we do it. That's how you do it cold market style. You're always looking for friends, whatever social media platform you're playing on, and you have a place for them to go. It's called a free health and fitness group, right? Or if you have a group based around something else, that's okay too. And just continue to do fun things within your free group, share your journey, share your story, go live in there, build relationships with these people on Facebook. Um, the other thing I did make a note of that's new is you can voice text these people. Um, like, so my follow-up, for example, I could do, hey, how are you? How's your week going, right? And then there's a button right next to the voice messenger on your, on your Facebook messenger, and you can click the blue button, and it will forward to everybody. So I could do the message. My assistant can take that, push the forward button. She can take her list of follow-ups. She can type them all in and just send it off. Might just be a phone thing, but it's that and it's done. And it's the same thing with the invite. Hey girl, um, I don't know if you know anybody or uh, how do I say it? Hey girl, I wanted to let you know that I'm starting up a new mentorship and I'm looking for some people who would love to earn some income while working on their health and fitness goals. If you know of anybody, um, could you send them my way? I would love to help them out. 
boom, done. And it's easy because if you're like, no, I don't want to directly invite, you can directly invite by praising someone. I think you're amazing. I think you're awesome. You kind of do what I do already. Like you're so incredible. I think you would rock this business. Um, I would love to get you some more information. So there's those simple invite processes. Um, so anyways, I hope this was helpful guys. Um, I do want to just add a couple tips that no one's going to work as hard as you. I know this is a leadership training and this is kind of a basics 101 cold market type of thing. Um, a lot of the feedback we got was the struggle of connecting cold market, connecting one-on-one, -on -one, um, new people, uh, teaching that to your team and, and whatnot. Um, and I started cold market. Like I just went right to Facebook and, and just like, I, uh, I have no fear whatsoever because if they delete you, block you, whatever, see ya, you're lost. You know what I mean? Um, but remember, no one's going to work as hard as, as hard as you. And, and that's where success club at the end of the day, you saw my inbox for like a second, right? There's probably like a hundred messages in there, which is a lot. Um, but that gives me a hundred people to put the business in front of a hundred people to maybe put a challenge group idea in front of Beachbody on a man. That that's a lot of potential for me to be able to invite for them to uh, say yes. Cause a lot of people aren't going to say yes or be ready right away. And what that also does is allows me to connect with new people. So come June, July, August, I have people who have built relationships with, who are ready to rock and roll. Um, that's why I love Facebook ads because it just, you can see how there's all those comments, right? And then the free part is you going in there and finding people you want to connect with. The negative to Facebook ads is sometimes you get comments from people that you're just like, why? <laughs> but it's rare, but it happens. And you're just kind of like, no, just no. You know what I mean? Like, it's happened, but you can target with Facebook ads. You can be specific about what age they are, if they're a male or a female, like where they live. Um, you can be specific and then you target based on pages that you like. So it's really a cool tool. Um, and money, you can spend as little as a dollar on your ads. I will say that I spend, um, where do I want to go with this? I spend a good amount on ads. But that's where all my people come from. They tend to come from ads. They come from Instagram a little bit. Um, my Instagram inbox is very full as well. It's it's my my thing is is funnel in the people, funnel them in, and then sort to figure out who is your tribe. Who's and and at the end of the day, sometimes they need to go through a challenge group, fall in love with Beachbody, Shakeology, all that good stuff before coaching is their jam. Fitness should be first. That is that is. That is a statement that I agree with. Um, we do have a lot of people that have signed up and hit the business running, but um, I also think that's a very rare thing. So be mindful if you're like, I'm signing all these people up and they're not doing anything. Fitness first, get them results, get 30 day results from them and then get them going. Um, so if you go to success club 10 or 20, watch your coaches start to level up to you. If you hit, 10 star diamond, guess who's going to believe four star, five stars possible for them. The only reason I think I would go for 15 star diamond, just random conversation with you guys real quick is because it shows my guys, my team, what's possible. And I'm guessing that's part of why Christina went for superstar. I don't know. She could probably answer that, but it shows us it's possible. It can be done. And it doesn't have to be done in two years or whatever. If, if you want to do it, go for it. You know what I mean? It's, it's all it's your business. It's your time. Um, it's how fast you want to grow. And she did say success loves speed, 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 speed. That is a true statement. The harder you go at it now, the more opportunity and more, you know, growth you're going to have. And you're, and if you, you, I was like a slow and steady turtle in the beginning. I told you guys that about the hustle. It wasn't until someone said, you need to hit higher success club numbers. You need to talk to more people. You're just bringing in three a month. That's not doing much for you. It's not going to grow like it grows. And I was like, oh, and it started to grow. And those, those coaches were actually starting to do what I was doing and hitting the success club 10 and 20 and things like that. So 
Um, don't be afraid of it. Don't feel like you have to do it every month, but don't be afraid of it. And I think like, um, that's, I'll just close with that. And, and remember speed of the leader, speed of the pack, 10 X your numbers, um, until, you know, whatever you want to do, but you have 30 days every month. And how many people can you talk to in a day? And how much can that add up to? And how many lives can you impact? You know what I mean? Um, so much opportunity, you guys, like so much opportunity this here we go i'm gonna get really passionate because i'm just it's just so flipping cool this business is just so cool all right if you have questions do a post with hashtag ask Lindsay, and i'll come back to answer it because i don't want to make this video too long so people that missed it can catch up um thanks for hanging out with me um can you point me to an asana training I don't know. It was so, 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 so simple. It was, it just, I just, I don't know. I just signed up and then I clicked, are we still sharing the screen? No, I just clicked on the projects and I created the projects as the coach uh, a prospect, the Chandra prospect, all that good stuff. And then um, I just fill in their names under tasks and then I email myself when it's time to chat with them so I don't lose them in the mix. Does that help? Let me know, holler at me later. Um, I gotta run and check on my little one. Um, so I hope you guys, I hope this was helpful. And then we'll talk about duplication on Thursday and how I tr am able to duplicate this process for my coaches to hit Success Club and all that good stuff. Bye.